Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and I have a little haul video for you. So I do like to order from um, UK websites for my crafting products. However, quite a few of the Glitter Girl and the Maggie Holmes Carousel collections and the Turn the Page ones were sold out. So if you don't know about Craft Delir, um, they are based in Spain, I believe. Um, and yeah so they had some bits on there so um i'm going to show you what i got so this cute little card uh came in the package happiness is handmade which i thought was super cute and this is what i got so first of all i got i got an older item um i was after the starshine collection by chamel the 12 by 12 paper pad um and i was desperate to try and get it on um, I think it was Hey Little Magpie when they had their summer sale um, and the website crashed before I could get it ordered and it was sold out so um, yeah I managed to pick it up from there and I think this, this was seven or eight pounds um, for a 48 sheet paper pad so I thought that was really good so I managed to grab that. So I'll show you what I got in terms of the papers first of all so I did get some older ones and some newer ones. And I'll take you through the ones I've got. I'll take you through the old. I'll take you through the older ones first, actually. So these are all from the Take Me Away collection um, by Pink Paisley, Paige Evans. Um, I've got the embellishments and stuff, but I've never got and the, and the six by six paper pad. But I've never managed to. Um, not, not that I've never managed to, but I've never picked up any of the twelve by twelve. So um, first of all, I got page number twenty two. I picked up page number 23 with these bows on and lovely grayscale floral on the back. Page number 17 and this gorgeous pink peachy ombre, which I'll probably use. Uh, that was page at page 17. This is page 19 and these strips. I think these are going to be perfect for, for cutting out. And this diamond pattern on the back and a full branding strip as well, which... I will make full use of and then finally the page number 24 um, and it's these frames uh, with sentiments in the middle and a chevron on the back so I'm probably going to use that side and fussy cut those out so um, I also got uh, I think I've got a sheet of paper from yeah I got one from cute girl as well um, every time I, I sort of see papers and I think these were the ones on the special offer um, I try and grab them just to top my existing kits up so I've got cute girl don't have many 12 by 12 papers um, so I managed to grab this I think it was 48 pence or something so next I got um, I got two papers from the turn the page collection so first of all I've got page number four um, I bought it for the butterflies if you've watched any of my other videos you know that I love fussy cutting butterflies out and then the reverse is this green mint green grid pattern but that is definitely the size that I'm going to be the side that I'm going to be using and I love cut aparts I love doing grid layouts um, so this is absolutely perfect for me this is page number one um, so it's the cut apart and then on the reverse um, I wouldn't even know what pattern this is called but it's it's got an almost ombre feel um, to it and again full branding strip whether I'd be able to incorporate that or not I'm not too sure but um, I do love the cut aparts on this so they, those were both from the turn the page collection next I've got a couple of bits from carousel so again I got the cut apart sheet from uh, from carousel and this one is called carnival and that is side one. Um, I don't know if anybody else is a little bit freaked out by this um, this carousel horse. Um, it's a bit too lifelike for me in my scrapbooking, so I'm not too sure whether I'm going to be using that. And then on the back is this uh, pink and pink um, eye trippy uh, pattern, so I'm going to be using that side. And the only other paper I got was the one with hot air balloons called Carried Away. These are going to be fussy cut out and I'm going to make quite a few layouts with these. But I also do love the reverse, which is a plain um, black background with white hollow hearts. So yeah, I managed to pick those up. And oh, I was saying I didn't get any, any older papers. I did. Now, I have got the Gather Collection and I never ever managed to get hold of this paper. Um, this was the little... 
uh, the frame paper called Moments, and they had it on sale in Craftalift, 48 pence. So not only did I manage to find one, I picked up two. Um, so the reverse of that is this um, beautiful blue um, with a dotty pattern over it, a speckled pattern. Um, I do like both sides, so I'll see how I get on with those. And the only other papers I got were from uh, Glitter Girl, Chamel Glitter Girl. Um, this collection is absolutely amazing. It does remind me of the colours that Amy Tan tends to use, the brighter colours, and I just it's just right up my street. So I got paper. Uh, this one is called Be a Square, and these are all four by four uh, cutter parts. You could use it as a full layout. And I'd love to see how you do that. And on the reverse is this bright pink with yellow polka dots and again a full branding strip um, with little birds on. And then the other paper I got from Chamel was the Seek Rainbows and these are just asking to be um, fussy cut. So I'm going to sit down probably one afternoon, afternoon I'll be at work one evening and fussy cut all of these out. And the reverse of that are um, just a butt ton of cameras. So this absolutely screams out to me and I can't wait. I'm gonna do a rainbow layout with uh, with quite a few of these. Yep, so that was um, Glitter Girl. So to go along with those 12 by 12, I also managed to pick up the Glitter Girl uh, six by six paper pad. There's 36 papers in here, uh, 36 different designs as well, which I do like the fact that you get so many different, different papers. And I always feel a little bit naked without wearing my wedding ring. It's not because me and hubby have had an argument over how much I've spent on craft supplies. It's because I have arthritis and my fingers keep swelling. Um, so uh, this is, I'll just give you a quick flick through. So um, we've got a um, number 1 to 25. That's probably going to be really good for December Daily for you December Dailies out there. Um, some dotty, some geometric, some flowers, some coffee cups, a smaller version of that 12 by 12 paper glasses um again a smaller version of the 12 by 12 um unicorns strips and yeah i'll just give you a flick through you can see what papers you get in there some very bright colors and i can't wait to get using that so that was the six by six pad um the next thing i've got from uh, Glitter Girl were the sticker and washi book folder. So the old ones, I'll get it out of the packet so I don't rustle it and you can see it better. The old books, they came in, the, the stapled at the top. Um, and if you're anything like me, as soon as you sort of try and fold it over, all the stickers were falling off. So this is a genius idea um, to actually, oh, it's a bit mucky, isn't it? To include it in a... Um, in a wallet instead so I'll, I'll just take you through so you get um let's see whether you tells you how many sheets you get in this you get eight sheets in this so you get some cardstock stickers and these have got um like a holographic sort of effect to them so you get these elements you get these flowers here that are gold foil uh, you get these speech bubbles and labels and again they've got some holographic texture to them there's a sheet of washi stickers and then we've got some tags we've got a unicorn a camera and then we've got some stars some geometric shapes and some little word stickers and then these are like these feel oh that's coming off these feel like washi texture yeah, they're like washi squares, and again, you've got some holographic going on. And then finally you get, oh, and these are holographic as well. You get a sheet of um, hot pink alphas. So yeah, that's what you get in the um, in the Chamel Glitter Girl. Yeah, and it comes in a handy, nice, neat little book. And then I got um, some, I got the stickers from the Carousel Collection and I just love these and I've got some of the carousel um, carousel papers as well and I'm on the um, design team for Quirky Kits here in the UK and this month we've got some um, carousel stuff in there so I'm going to add that in with my Quirky Kits 
um, and show you some layouts that you can do with those as well. And then I'm going to try and get these out and give you a, a brief overview. And these are the uh, die cut ephemera from the Pink Paisley Turn the Page um, collection. So you get 40 pieces in this. Now, I know that everybody's having a bit of a moan about how big ephemera is getting. I'm sure there's a reason for it and I'm sure it's saving the manufacturers a lot of money to give us big die cuts. And I'm with you on that front because uh, I like the smaller pieces, but hey... Uh, let's see what we've got here. So we've got some floral, we've got tags, floral, hearts, stars, teacup. But what is it with the animals? Birds, old endings, new beginnings. Oh, bunny, a customary bunny. Coffee cup, stars, a floral journaling piece. That is super cute though. That's a little snail. More floral, more birds. More floral, change is good with some gold foil. A little turn the page book, which is cute. Butterflies, of course, there's not enough animals in here already. And we've got some paper aeroplanes. Start here. We've got some banner pieces, magical, inhale the future, ex exhale the past. And then we've got some some frames as well and these just pop out from one another if you've had the last collection um they have the same ones in there as well where they sort of all the pieces pop out um it's the last collection summer lights that was it and moments oh and another little teacup so yeah 40 pieces in that one and then finally from craftily i got the turn the page puffy stickers because who doesn't love puffy stickers and I loved the frames, I love the little band-aids or plasters if you're from the UK, the florals are so pretty on this, um, butterflies, customary butterflies and birds, the teacups, the little men, little sentiment there, every day's a fresh start. So that is everything that I got from Craftily, um, super quick delivery, I think it took less than a week um, to come from Spain. Um, delivery is pretty good as well, I think it's about six pounds. Um, if you spend over £100, and I have done that before, um, then delivery is completely free. And you don't get stung with customs charges because it's coming from the EU. So win-win all round. Um, so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all on my next video. Bye-bye.